Are you struggling with your digital marketing efforts? Do you want to simplify and automate your marketing process but don't know where to start? Well, look no further than the Simple Marketing Solutions Podcast. Hi there, my name is Amita and I'm your host and guide on this journey towards marketing success. Our podcast is the ultimate destination for small business owners just like you who are looking for help and inspiration with their digital marketing efforts. Our tailored solutions provide actionable ideas for simplifying and automating the marketing process. Whether you're a business owner looking to streamline your marketing strategies or in need of inspiration to take your business to the next level, we've got you covered. Join us as we explore the latest trends and tips in digital marketing and share strategies and the tricks of the trade to help you grow your business. This will give you the confidence to make informed decisions regarding your marketing needs. So tune in every Wednesday to the Simple Marketing Solutions Podcast, hosted by Holistic Vision, wherever you get your podcasts. Let's grow your business together and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share this podcast with two to three of your friends in your network who could also benefit from learning something new. Welcome back to this week's episode. Last week, we explored the client attraction framework, the four-step process to attracting the ideal clients to grow your healthcare practice. Today, we're going to start delving into a really crucial element, which is your website. I get this all the time from clients that I speak to. Oh, I have a website, but nobody sees it. I have no traffic. I never get any referrals through my website. Great that you've got a website. Fantastic. But having a website is more than just having a digital brochure. It needs to work for your business. And it really does have the potential to do all of that for you. It's a place where you can help showcase your services, build trust with those potential clients that are looking for what you offer and convert them into paying clients. But if traffic is the issue for you, then it's time to start thinking about why are you not getting traffic to your website? In the four-step client attraction framework, we discussed the element of assessing what's working in your business and what's not. And your website might be a weakness in your business model at the moment. And as it is one of the factors that need to be taken into account for your marketing strategy to actually work, it is time to start focusing on how you can become more strategic with optimizing your website. And I want to share with you, like I do with my clients, that it doesn't have to cost you thousands of dollars. Yes, there are paid options for optimization, but there are a lot of things that you can do right now that don't cost a thing. One of the first of the four things that I want to mention today is optimizing your website content on your pages. So what do I mean by this? Well, this is looking at the relevant keywords that people are searching for. When you are, say, on Google, for example, and you type in something that you're looking for, those words that you're typing into the search bar are the keywords. So you need to put yourself into the shoes of that client that you're trying to attract and do the research with what are the words that they are typing in when they're looking for services such as yours. Those keywords are gold because when you know them, when you've identified them, 
you can place them strategically through your website content and on your social media content, etc. as well. But that's what's going to help to drive traffic and help people find you and let search engines such as Google know that yes, this website speaks about these words. So I am going to show this website to the user that's looking for it. That's going to push your ranking up on search engine platforms. The second element, which I think is one of the most underutilized when it comes to marketing is the connection <laughs> is the connection between your social media and your website. Your content on your website and the content on your social media need to be congruent. And the key is to drive that traffic from your social media onto your website, which is what you own. You do not own the social media platform. Unfortunately, you do not own the content once you put it up there on the social media platform. So it is vital that you start pushing people from your valuable content that you're sharing on social media to your website, which is all yours. So therefore, you have more control. You have the ability to take that client on the journey that you want them to be taken on and get them to the step of being a paid client. So really look at that strategy of your social media and what is it that you're doing? What are the call to actions that are driving people from your social media and connecting that back to your website every time? And another thing that is really easy to do, yes, it may take a little bit of time, but it is simple to do, is popping your business details on every local listing you can find. It is so valuable to do this because it helps to increase your online visibility, therefore putting you in front of more potential clients and allowing you to start coming up in those searches quicker and organically. By organic, I mean without paying for the advertising. And these listings, these business directories are generally free to list your business on. So all you need is to find those listings. And in our SEO Made Simple course, we give you the top business directory listings with the script that you can use to put onto those websites and get your website shown. So if you're interested in any of our online courses, remember they're all accessible through our Simplified Digital Solutions Academy. The fourth thing is content marketing. Now it's really important that you start to build that authority with your website. And one of the key things is putting content that is of value on there whether that be through a blog post or content such as a podcast that you have links to on your website, all of that is going to help to establish you as an expert and help to attract those potential clients that are searching for information about the types of services and products that your business offers. So those are the four free options that will help to generate traffic and you can start putting them into your marketing strategy that you're developing for your business and start putting timelines for all of these there too. When it comes to paid options to generate traffic, look, yes, they can work really well, but they do cost money and depending on where you are with your business, it is important that you've got the foundation laid first. What I mean by that is get the organic traffic working for you so that you know no matter if your 
paid ads are turned off tomorrow, you have got the foundation to still keep attracting the right type of client into your business. Paid advertising will work for the time that that ad is on. So consider the times that the ad will not be on and what have you got in place to cover your business for that. Because it's not recommended to continue to pay for advertising forever, right? Financially, that's not always a viable option. And secondly, you want to know that people are finding you because you have built a really valuable platform on your website that is the go-to in your industry for information, resources, and services. So with paid advertising, there's the pay-per-click advertising where you can run targeted ads on Google or social media platforms or even other websites where you only pay when somebody clicks on your ad. What that means is that you're not paying for people just seeing it, but you're paying when they click on it. And when they click on it, usually it means that they've shown an interest in what you offer and therefore they've clicked on that ad. That means that the quality of that lead generally is higher. The other ads that you can run are your social media ads, which promote content, special offers that you could do, but it's important, and I can't stress this enough, that you know your audience really well before doing any of your paid advertising. And in the client attraction framework, we cover that in depth. I show you exactly how you can understand and do the research for that ideal client. And like I said in the last couple of episodes, it is so important to understand the changes within your target audience. As time progresses, there's been a definite shift with audience And even looking, if you're a bricks and mortar business, the people that are now living in your suburb may have completely changed. There's been such a shift with demographics that you need to make sure that you're targeting the right people at the right time. So when you're on social media and you're trying to build that audience and you're doing paid advertising, You really do need to know that audience very well. Otherwise, it will be money wasted. So remember, with all of this, whether you're doing and implementing the organic strategies, the free strategies for your website optimization or the paid strategies, it's about being being consistent. Consistency is key. I tell this to my clients all the time and I have to remind myself of it too because we all get busy and caught up in the day-to-day tasks but remember that if you've started to map out that strategy for your marketing and your business growth you need to remember to be consistent with whatever it is you're choosing to work on. That way you're going to start to see results and be able to track what is working and what isn't working. So remember, we've got the SEO Made Simple course available through the Simplified Digital Marketing Academy. And if you're looking for your tribe, a community of like-minded professionals wanting to grow their business and needing that support for your marketing strategy and building that business, then join the Academy. It is the go-to for all your resources for keeping accountable. And there is power in the STAR model that we follow, which is support, training, accountability, and results. So if you're ready to transform 
transform your business and attract new clients? Join the Academy today at simplifieddigitalsolutions.com. I will pop the link in the show notes. If you're looking for ways to simplify your marketing and attract more clients to your healthcare practice, then the Simplified Digital Solutions Academy is here for you. We offer a comprehensive library of online courses, expert coaching, and a supportive community to help you achieve your business goals. Head over to simplifieddigitalsolutions.com and join today. And if you find value in this episode, here's three ways you can help the show grow. One, hit that subscribe button on your podcast app to stay up to date on the latest marketing strategies. Number two, if this episode resonated with you, consider leaving us a five-star review as every review helps others find the show and makes a big difference. Third, if you know two to three other allied health professionals in your network who might benefit from these marketing tips, share this episode with them. Until next time, happy marketing.